Okay, as promised, here is our adding with hundreds. So I have 136 plus 64. I have represented it here, 136. And then I'm adding my 64, 64. So let's combine ones to see if we can make a 10. Okay, so we have 10 here, 10 ones. They are going to go away and now they're a bundle. Let's put them down here so we don't get mixed up. And then we can add all the tens together. Those three go there, this one comes here. And look, I have another group of 10. So this 10 also bundles and becomes a hundred. Let's go away from the tens because now they're a hundred. So my answer, I have two hundreds, zero tens, and zero ones. So 136 plus 64 equals 200. Okay. Now, hopefully this is making sense. You guys are very good at adding and you're very good at bundling your numbers. So I, I'm thinking we'll be pretty good. I promised that I would show you how to do these problem sets. Um, if you need to write out a place by your chart to help you, you can do that, and then you can show your problems. Just draw the discs like we do at school. So here I have the 113 plus 78, and then, even though you can't physically move them around, we can do bundles just like we do at school. So this bundle becomes a 10. Now you have seven, eight, nine tens, one, one, and 100. So this would be 191. All right, you can try this one. Try the others on your own. Over here, you're gonna do the, the discs. So what we would do is you would draw this out. We have 40. Seven. <laughs> okay. Plus one hundred twenty three. Okay. Now, what they're wondering is what did you have to do? All right. So circle the statements that are true as you solve each problem using place value discs. So I'm using my place value discs here. I just drew them. All right. So I changed 10 ones for 110. Well, let's see if we need to do that. I have seven, eight, nine, ten. Look, there's one bundle that becomes a 10. I changed 10 ones for 110. Yes, that's something that we did. I changed 10 tens for 100. Well, let's see if we have 10 tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this guy's number seven. Do we have 10 tens? No, we don't. So we're not circling that. The total of the two parts is 160. Well, let's see what we have. We have 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, tens. And how many ones are left? Zero ones are left because we bundled them and we made them a 10. So we're to zero. So the total of the two parts is 160? No. The total of the two parts is 170? Yes. All right, you try this one by yourself. Draw your place value chart to help you. That's what you will need to do so you can see what you are doing. That's why I did that, all right? Children, you also have the next page. This is still lesson 18 problem set, okay? So please try this as well. If you haven't done it yet, that's okay. You can do it now. Write an addition sentence that corresponds to the following number bond. Solve the problem using place value discs and fill in the missing total. 45 plus 95 equals. Use your place value discs. Draw them in there. Whatever you get as your answer, it goes down here. Now, I know that some of you are able to do this without doing the place value discs. 
I still want you to show me with your place value discs. This is extremely important because you will be using these discs in other years. So I want you to be able to do it really well and quickly as a second grader so that you can do it easily as a third and fourth grader. There are 50 girls and 80 boys in the after school program. How many children are in the after school program? 50 girls and 80 boys. Figure this out. Children, I want you to think. That's five plus eight. Okay, think about what we've been learning. Kim and Stacy solved 83 plus 39. Kim's answer was less than 120. Stacy's answer was more than 120. Whose answer was incorrect? Who was not correct? Okay, explain how you use, how you know using words. Remember we've talked about when it says explain, you're using your words pictures or numbers. I want you to see if you can use your words. All right. You guys can do this. You're very, very smart. So you have to do the problem. Is it going to be less than 120 or more than 120? You have to tell me who was wrong. This means wrong. And then you're going to write with your words. So and so was wrong because blah, blah, blah. All right. So that's how you're going to do this page as well. You are all very smart and amazing, and I know that you can do this. Good luck.